Nebraska Game and Parks wants to make Standing Bear Lake a paradise for fishermen. That includes updates to the boat launch and the lake itself to make it a sustainable environment for fish. KETV News Watch 7's Jessica Perez is live with the restoration project. Jessica. Nebraska Games and Parks says that there were many fish left in the reservoir, mostly invasive species. Today, they used a chemical to kill those remaining fish in the lake. To create a suitable environment for game fish at Standing Bear Lake, Nebraska Game and Parks says it needs to start over. Whenever we do these projects, we try to start with a clean slate. Basically, you know, just like a farmer does, tills his, his field. This means killing all the fish using a chemical called retinone. For a bigger lake, it would normally take 30 to 40 barrels to kill all the fish. For Standing Bear Lake, it took about three of these five gallon barrels. The lake mostly holds invasive species like common carp and yellow bass. They make the conditions a lot better for themselves because the water is more more uh, turbid and stirred up and, and there's not very much aquatic vegetation. Jeff Jackson, the aquatic habitat program manager, says they'll stock the lake with fish including bass, bluegill, channel catfish, and walleye this fall and black crepey next year. When we restock it, we'll have really good growth rates. We'll have uh, the type of fishery that we want in here to start. I'm looking forward to that. Matthew Sabotsky plans to check out the fishing scene when the project is done. He likes to catch panfish like crepies and bluegills, but he says what you catch depends on when you fish. It just seems like uh, when they stock it early in the season, it's, it's good. But I think we in, here in Omaha, we just have so many more fishermen than we have fish in the lakes that it seems to get fished out early. Jackson says it usually takes a couple years for a fishery to grow, but they'd consider it a success if 300 to 400 anglers per acre use the lake each year. Other renovations are also coming to the lake, like a new boat launch or an updated boat launch and a new kayak launch. Construction will start in June. Jessica Perez, KTV News Watch 7.